You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's okay when the left do it, isn't it? It's okay when they incite violence and murder and cancel culture online. But when they get called out, oh, we're only joking. We didn't mean it. It was satire. These liberals, the wokey cokies, woko haram, left waffer, whatever you want to call them. The people we seem to be in an eternal struggle with on social media at the moment. They are currently getting to know what cancel culture feels like. And they don't like it. Some of them are getting reported left, right and centre to their bosses for what is effectively encouraging people to try and kill Donald Trump. And that's the difference. These people were reporting us, conservatives, patriots, right-wingers, call us what you want. They were reporting us getting us sacked, losing our livelihoods, cancelled off social media for at least a decade because they didn't like what we had to say. The truth, basically. And there's a vast difference here. We were getting cancelled, losing our livelihoods, for having a different opinion. These people are effectively and actively encouraging people to hurt and kill others. And they're crying about it online at the moment, on social media. I mean, they are really crying about it. And like I've always said, if you can't take it, don't give it. But, as ever, it's okay when they do it, isn't it? And then there was uh, Emily Maitlis' interview with Nigel Farage in the US the other day. So she accosted him in, I think it was Milwaukee, as he was going to visit his mate Donald Trump after what happened. And that was it. He's there for a few days. His mate's just been shot at. And it's what friends do, isn't it? But no, not according to Emily Maitlis and whoever the hell she's working for. She emphasised on the fact that he's now the new MP for Clacton and he's not there. How dare he leave his constituencies after they voted him in in the general election? How dare he take a trip abroad when he should be in his new constituency of Clacton and addressing their concerns? I mean, the guy is only in America for two or three days at the most. And she's throwing gotcha questions at him like this? Well, Nigel Farage gave her the best reply. They're trying to demonise him for taking a two-day trip to America to see his mate. But not once did they question the Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, popping over to Germany to see the football. And this is what I mean by it's okay when they do it again. This so-called interview by Emily Maitlis was nothing but an attempted smear on Nigel Farage yet again. Trying to villainise the guy for doing something that their favourite politicians are doing and yet they don't question them for it. And this is what far-left journalists like Emily Maitlis do. They twist and turn stories into their narrative, while completely omitting the fact that left-wing politicians are doing exactly the same, and they don't get accosted and questioned for it. But there we go, this is what we expect from the mainstream media now, and they're still doing it. I think they'll be their own undoing in the end. These so-called journalists like Emily Maitlis, they're activists now. They're not hard-hitting investigative reporters, they're left-wing goons, they're stooges. And that's why I don't believe a word they say. And that's that. I'm Paz49, thanks for watching. And until the next time, Roger Trout.